Alrighty. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So we are here back today with a new tutorial from Disney Zootopia. This will be the last one since we did so many characters already. Now it's time to go ahead and move on to the next character. So for the last Zootopia character we're going to learn today, we're going to learn how to draw Gazelle because that seemed to be a, the most highly requested character to draw next. So we're going to go ahead and start Gazelle. All right, first thing I want to do is to go ahead and we're making kind of a long, it almost looks like a candy corn to me. So we're going to make this candy corn looking shape. So Gazelle's pretty easy because we basically only have to do one side of her face because her hair is covering up the other side. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and divide right down this side since we're seeing more of this face as opposed to this side of her face. After this, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make her eye. So she looks like Frank and Weenie right now. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and make her eyebrow because it mostly like shapes up because it's going to come down here and it's going to lead to her nose and her markings eventually. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead make it like this so we'll make we'll straighten this up just a little bit more later but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this down down here and this is her marking and we're gonna go ahead and bring it down after this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath right here and I'm gonna start to mirror that side gonna come down just a bit and down like that for right now so we're gonna leave that alone now we're gonna jump up back to her eye and shape it up just a bit more so what I'm gonna do is gonna start from here go up over kind of round off the top and then come back down here I'm gonna go up Round off the top, round off the bottom. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go straight through and cut through it, kind of like a marble looking thing almost. So we just made a uh, gazelle's eyelid. Okay, after that, what I wanna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and shape off this, uh, this side of our head. Even though that we can't see this part, we can go ahead and assume that it goes inward and then down and then what we're going to do from here is we're just going to go up and then I'm going to come over here make that little part and then I'm going to go underneath and connect it to this spot right here Now, let's get rid of this guideline down the middle. After this part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right from the, this part right here. And we're just going to square this out just a little bit. So we'll bring out her nostril just a bit more and come upward. Then I'm gonna jump right in the middle, bring that up just a bit. Then I'm gonna jump right in here and connect to this marking. And if we expand it just a little bit, just like this, like there and there, so it kind of looks like a set of wings, we have Gazelle's nose. This part of her nose should be leading up into her marking. And I'll get my Copic markers out and we'll mark her up just so you can see it better in case you want to color. Now, we're going to jump inside of her mouth just give a little bit of indention that she has some teeth in her mouth and then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go under right here so we're gonna go underneath and we're gonna give the indication that she has a lower lip right here and then we're gonna come underneath that underneath her lower lip bring it up and we have the bottom of her mouth and we'll go ahead fill that in And her bottom lip 
is a little bit, it's like a rosy pink. It matches her nose and this this little indention right here. That was her, uh, I don't know, just a nostril. <laughs> I don't know. After this, we're going to go ahead and continue upward. And we're going to give big cheekbone up and connect. So it's kind of like, if you know how to draw horses, it's very similar. They just have this big like cheekbone thing going on. I don't know animal anatomy, so I'm referring to people anatomy. Forgive me if you're a veterinarian and you were drawing along. <laughs> After this, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring up and close off the top of her head right here. Just so we know where we're going. But first, let's go ahead and give her an eye finish off her eye. So I'm going to jump in right here in the middle. Just give a nice full eye, but I'm going to make sure it's kind of like a horizon. So it's like an upside, upside down horizon and it's building, it's being cut off. The circle's being cut off by her eye, her eyelash line. Now Gazelle has very thick eyelashes, kind of like gives the indication, indication that she has falsies on. So I'll go ahead and make a nice thick line and just get really thick eyelashes. And of course her bottom eyelid line is dark as well, just giving the feel of eyeliner. And her eyelid has a little bit of eyeshadow. It's all markings, but it looks like a lot of makeup. So then after that, we go ahead, jump in the, jump right here, give a shine to an eye, go up, and fill in the pupil. And Gazelle has brown eyes have a yellowish brown. So I said that we were going to shape up her eyebrow a little bit more because it does have shape. So it's very thick right here. And then it's got like this wave thing going on and it goes down and down like this. So we're going to go ahead and make a circle right off to the side right here. After the circle, we're going to go down and start going out this way. So down and out, and then we're going to go ahead and bring this down, and then go right back in, making her ear. So it kind of looks like a weird like hockey stick. Now what we're going to do from the top right here, is go down, and back in. Looks like a weird, almost banana peel and a hockey stick. So it goes back up and we're going to go down and just like that. So we go down, go up and then down and back into the overall shape of her head. Now this part right here will start to grow into her Horns, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that like that for right now. Now, from right here, before we start going up into the region of her horns, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead from this part right here, you're gonna go up, way up, and make a hill, and then you're just gonna make another wave. So you see how I went up, made another wave. Make a curvy here. Curvy. I'm going to stop there for right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back into right here. And so I see I have this leftover guideline right here. And I'm going to go ahead, curve it inward and out. ahead and connect 
these two curls together. Very long. And then of course we are making her hair. <laughs> In case you couldn't figure that out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make another little wispy over here. So if you were to get rid of all of this. Now it's got a lot of wavy, wavy curls going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down and just break it up into bits and pieces. And it is very blonde. Just to give it more dimension. Kind of just looks like a horse's tail on her face. <laughs> so I'm just giving it nice, pretty wavies. You can go as crazy as you want with her waves to the curls of her hair. It's just make sure it's that big and covering up this much of her face. <laughs> so being imaginative with the, ho the horse tail, horse mane. All right, after her hair curl thing, what we're gonna do next is go ahead and do her horns. So we have one horn starting back here, and then we're gonna jump off to the side right here, and we have another horn. Now this one's a bit thicker than this one just because I guess it's since it's turned, it's kind of like, it's just like an optical illusion almost. So this one is thicker than this horn, probably because we're seeing more of this of her face this way and this one's turned facing the sun. So we're just gonna keep going on with this horn first. So this one's gonna go ahead, go up. See how I ran out of room. And I had to apply another piece of paper, as always. So I'm gonna go mirror this, come up here, and stop. And I'm just gonna go ahead and close this off so we can see just this breaking up into parts. And I'm gonna go ahead and curl it. This one goes up this way. Mirror the other side. And it is taller than this one. So these kind of look like weird tentacles right now, so let's go ahead and shape these up just a bit. Now the thing about Gazelle, she's a gazelle. And so this part right here is mostly fur. So this part leading around her ear part and everything, if we get rid of all the guidelines, this is her ear. So this is completely different and this is part of her head going up so this part is fur and it's wrapping around her ear and we don't even see this part of the fur wrapping around just because it's on the other side of her head and her head is turned now the thing with this is gazelle's horns are broken up into segments so they're very bumpy. 
So if I were to go on the side of her horns and go like this and make them like little hills on top of each other, and then I connected those hills like this, so I'm just going to keep going and making those little ripples alongside of her horn. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is connect those segments together. So if I go like this, now once I get close to the top, I change the direction of the segments to where they're curving upward more. And as we get closer to the top, we have more segments. So they get kind of straight right here, and then they go upward. And then these are more separated, and they're going downward. For over here, go ahead and give the same ripple effect. Now for these segments, they start curving downward. And as they get closer to the top, their arc gets more arcish, I guess. And then these go in this direction. I think it's because the light is hitting this side. Now I don't want to make her look like she has a floating head. So we're just going to go ahead and give her her neck. Bring this down. Very skinny neck. It's very easy. And then the other side of her neck and it starts to get wider off to the side. And we, went, we officially ran out of room to draw the rest of her body. So, I'm going to go underneath right here. And this is one side of her markings, which is that yellowish, like, tan color. And this side is the other side of her markings. Now, we're going to look at the um, markings a little bit better. I'm going to get some Copic markers. As somebody was complaining that... They didn't like, they said, why don't you just use your pencil? Because the reason why I'm giving, like showing the markings is in case if you guys really want to color. So I'm considering you guys, if you're going to color this later on, if this is just a sketch and you're going to get your markers or your colored pencils or stuff, I'm just doing it for you guys just to help you out a little bit more so you can see the markings of an animal because all animals have markings except my dog because she's all white. Well guys, there we go. There is 
how to draw gazelle from Zootopia. Love her, love the song that Shakira sings for Gazelle. Um, try everything. If you haven't heard the song yet, definitely go and say buy it on Amazon. Not Amazon, um, iTunes or stuff like that. It's really, it's a really fun song. Gets you all motivated and pumped up and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, I. Uh, one thing I did notice is there's I, I did notice that there are like tribal kind of markings on gazelle's horns but I feel like doing the actual antlers of a gazelle would have been easier <laughs> for you guys so that's why I did that if you go and look at the references that of or just pictures of gazelle with her the sexy hot tigers <laughs> But yes, you will see that she does have tribal marks on her actual um, antlers. So yeah, you guys can go and check that out. Yeah, but yeah guys, I hope I will see you all later. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye! Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by Dramatic Parrot today. Make sure you click on that subscribe button. And hey, if you like this video today, make sure you hit that like button as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all the fun stuff. And like my Facebook page. And if you haven't seen it already, I have started a vloggity vlog vlog channel on Wonderland Girl. So make sure you go ahead and check that out and subscribe to that channel as well. Other than that, I will see you all later. Bye!